John Rook sent me a uh, tweet from someone named Carolyn Bursenko, who noted she got an email from Glenn Kessler of the Washington Post. And someone who's taken my advice, apparently, that you publish every email, you take away any personal information so you can't be accused of doxing, and every time they send you these emails, you publish them and you show people what they're trying to do. She noted that uh, it looked like Kessler was working on another hit in the Washington Post on Chris Rufo, on Critical Race Theory. And then he wrote her back and she published that email too. <laughs> and it is exactly what you do. She's apparently an organ psychologist. She's an unwoke activist. She says, I broke woke a cola. She seems to be a uh, somebody who works on critical race theory. She had an anonymous tipster. And Kessler suggests that he falsely made up a tipster. The email reads this. And again, this is important that you put these people on blast. Because they rely on thinking you're not going to do this. And you should. If you feel like, uh, I've emailed with reporters. Um, I read for you the political piece that took the cutoff part of my answer. So I wrote her back and I said, if you don't correct this, I'm putting these emails to show what I told you. And they went and they corrected it. Glenn Kessler writes, Carolyn, thanks. Not sure if you know, but I read a column called The Fact Checker in which I vet claims made by political figures. In various interviews, Rufo has claimed that he became aware of critical race theory because he got a tip from an anonymous Seattle employee about the critical race theory program there. But through a public records request, I have discovered that his query to the city instead cited a tweet that you made on June 16th. In other words, he was piggybacking off of your research and has been falsely claiming he had an anonymous tipster helping him. And now it seems he's hijacked the whole thing into some kind of anti-white attack, which I don't think was your original intention. So I was wondering about your reaction to this. I still have to contact him and do some more reporting, so please don't tweet or mention this till after I publish. <laughs> Glenn. <laughs> she writes, Hi, Glenn Kessler. Ryu, Chris Roof, and I were talking to the same anonymous tipster. This person came to both of us with the same information. So, yes, that person absolutely exists. And, no, I don't believe Rufo hijacked anything. I'm grateful for his work. Hope this helps. <laughs> she then writes him. He, he then writes her back and says, I never suggested the person did not exist. I am disappointed <laughs> you decided to go public with my query. His public records request made no mention of anonymous tips or only your tweet, but your answer would have suggested that he was still on solid ground to make this claim. I'm disappointed you decided to go public. <laughs> it's amazing. She then writes back, Hi, Eglin Kessler. Sorry you're disappointed, but I'm disappointed that the Washington Post is doing yet another hit piece on him. It's ridiculous. Regardless, the whistleblower is real and was talking to both of us. Rufo is always on strong ground. Yeah, that, that this is uh, this makes me proud. That's exactly what this. She did exactly what you should do. Strip out. She she strips out the emails, so you can't. She can't be accused of doxing or anything, and just post these emails. Please, please do not reveal this until I publish. Thank you. Ah, fuck you. 